Hi friends, in this we are going to discuss about the d square statistics. Statistics. And uh, the concept of d square statistics was originally developed by PC Mahanalobis in 1928. He used this he used this technique for in the study of anthropology and psychometry and now this technique is extensively used in plant breeding and genetics for the study of di genetic divergence in various breeding materials like this is one of the potent techniques of measurance of measuring the genetic divergence in plant breeding genetic diversity plays an important role because hybrids between lines are diverse origin generally display uh, origin generally display a greater heterosis than those between closely related parents as we already know that if there is more uh, more diversity diversity then we can uh, exploit heterosis more heterosis more heterosis more 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 heterosis by this if we need to know where there is a, any divergence or not or not for this this quest statistics is must and have very much helpful for the studies of genetic divergence. Genetic diversity arises due to ge geographical evaporation or due to genetic barriers to oh, cross ability. And the main features of this uh, discourse statistics is that it's a numerical approach. As you can see, there is numbers are there 5, 7, 14, like this. There are numbers out there. We can. It's a numerical approach which is measuring the genetic divergence in a germplasm collection. Estimates of discrete statistics are based on second order statistics. Second order. Order statistics. Statistics, and these have lesser pre precision than metroglyph analysis. But uh, metroglyph analysis, it's a, a graphical approach. But this this square is numerical approach and the analysis is more difficult than metroglyph analysis because we are using many uh, numericals it's somewhat difficult to analyze but uh, metroglyph can anyone can analyze by seeing easily differentiate with the morphology with the graphs analysis is possible only replicated data but in uh, metroglyph it's replicated and non-replicated genetic diversity is depicted by cluster diagram see this is cluster diagram genetic diversity is depicted by cluster diagram the steps in steps analysis of discrete statistics require replicated data multi locational or multi seasonal data provide more reliable results and you can see three steps i like uh, selection selection of genotype evaluation of material and biometrical analysis biometrical analysis analysis well, first one is selection of genotypes second one evaluation of material third one biometrical analysis coming to the Evaluation of material is evaluated in replicated field trials as you already know that and recorded on various quantitative characters because it's mean helpful for quantitative characters. And biometrical analysis first we need to find the first variance of various characters. Variance and covariance in third one that is biometrical analysis metrical analysis these variance and covariance are first uh, um, covariance for their combinations are estimated then d square statistics d square analysis is done as per mahala and 1928 he he found that in 1928 in this uh, analysis finding out the contribution of individual character towards divergence individual contribution individual character contribution individual character towards the divergence grouping of different genotypes into various clusters and estimation of average distances intra cluster and inter cluster levels 
and construction of cluster diagram this is the cluster diagram in d square analysis of line diagram is constructed with the help of d square values which is known as cluster diagram the square roots of average inter and intra clusters d square values are used in the construction of cluster diagram and the list diagram provides information of the following aspects this depicts the genetic diversity in easy to understandable manner the number of clusters represent number of genotypes in which population can be classified on the basis of d square analysis distance between between the clusters like these are clusters clusters distance between in these measures of the degree of diversion if more distance is there more degree of divergence is 9 th 3 and 5th 3rd and 5th are uh, more diverse than the 4th and 3rd and 1 and 2 1 and 2 it's a 9 so it's a more more diverse than uh, this one 7 and uh, greater the distance between two clusters greater the divergence and vice versa genotypes falling in the same cluster are more closely related than those belonging to another clusters in the other words genotypes groups together in one cluster are less divergent than those which are placed in a different cluster it provides information about relationship between various clusters in this we can see that uh, average intra and in inter cluster this is this is inter cluster between like inter between inter cluster between intra cluster means these are intra cluster this is having no major divergence it's a intra and t r a intra intra it's inter 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 cluster and the important thing is that it's help it helps in the selection of its merit is merits of this analysis is it helps in selection of genetic divergence parents for the exploitation hybridization program and it measures degree of diversification and determination relative proportion of each component character to the total divergence this technique provides reliable estimates of uh, genetic divergence and a large number of genomes can be evaluated at a time for genetic diversity by this technique and the merits of this d square analysis is that this technique has three main disadvantages the analysis is difficult as it involves estimation of variance and covariance the estimates are not statistically robust as they are second order statistics the analysis is not possible from unreplicated data this square has been widely used assessing variability in crops like maize sorghum pearl millet wheat linseed etc thank you please subscribe our channel if you have any doubt any clarification then just comment below we will um, help you to clear those problems or so uh, suggestion if you have any suggestion please without free mind at you forward for your comments please subscribe our channel and share our video thank you